Hello everybody! Hi! Welcome! It's time for Social Distancing Sunday School. So gather everybody around. Come on in. Have a seat. How's everybody doing this week? I mean, my gosh, it seems like it's been a long time since we've seen each other in person. And I, you know, it looks like, of course everything is kind of tentative at this time, but it looks like in a couple of weeks we are going to be actually getting back together again for worship in person. Um, and that also means that we'll be able to have Sunday school with the kids. And I'm looking, really, really looking forward to seeing you guys and doing some fun activities and doing some fun lessons with you guys. So I hope that you're, that you guys come to Sunday school and I hope to see you there. I'm really excited to be able to hang out with you guys again and um, see how everything's going. And I'm kind of looking forward to hearing from you guys how your school is going this year and other things. So um, I hope to see you in Sunday school in a couple of weeks, guys. Um, so for today, we're going to go ahead and get started on our lesson for today. And this is one of the readings from Lectionary for this week. And I picked this one just because I felt like it's a good reminder. Um, I really feel like um, for our kids and for the grown-ups that are watching at home, um, I really feel like we really need a reminder because I feel like there's a lot of division in the world. There's a lot of anger. A lot of people are really angry and rightfully so. There, a lot of people have um, good reason to be angry. Um, but this is a reminder to everyone. Um, and I just thought this was a really good lesson for this week, um, because we've got so much division, so much hate and anger in the world that, um, you know, maybe we just need a little, maybe we just need a little help getting through it. So this week's passage is from Romans. It's chapter 12, verses 9 through 21. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering. Persevere in prayer, contribute to the needs of the saints, extend hospitality to strangers, bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble and in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals upon their head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to print this out and maybe reread it several times over and over again. Um, and you could do, this would be a great passage to do what we call a Lexio Divina or Lectio Divina. Um, you could print it out and maybe highlight or underline or circle words or phrases that uh, are particularly meaningful for you, things that maybe um, stand out to you. And then you could pray and meditate on those specific um, words or phrases out of this passage. Um, so... This would be a great one to do that and then pray or meditate over this passage over and over again. You could read the whole passage in its entirety two or three times and just really, really focus in and, and really pray on this passage and really internalize it and maybe even uh, memorize it or memorize parts of it. So I'm going to read it one more time and this time as you're listening to me read it, 
Um, pay particular p attention to what words or phrases stand out to you or have the most meaning to you or really resonate with you. So I'm going to read it again and I'm going to read it pretty slowly. And you can just listen as I read for those words and phrases that stand out to you. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, Never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads. Do not overcome, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. And so if we were together this week, I might ask you to share what phrases or words that you um, highlighted or circled, and maybe to share a little bit about um, what your thoughts are on this passage. And so since we're not together this week, I invite you to maybe share that in the comments section, if you would like, and maybe to shop, share some of your thoughts and feelings on the words that come out to you in this passage. And I hope that we do take some time this week um, to maybe reflect on this passage and you can come back to this if you print it out and um, I'll leave a link in the uh, comments. I usually use uh, the BibleGateway.com, that website, um, and you can print out passages from that um, website. So I'll link this passage in the comments below and then if you want to print it out, you can print it and then maybe you can write, highlight, under, underline, um, or you can do that digitally. You can highlight and underline um, on the app if you have a Bible app. Um, and then just share with us in the comments. And I appreciate you guys taking the time. And um, have a great week, everyone. Live peaceably so far as it depends on you. Have a great week. See you next time.